What's up guys, it's Josh and we're back again with another video. You guys really seem to enjoy the first part of the magic video I posted a couple days ago, so today I'm going to post the second part. In this second trick, we actually were able to hypnotize our college dean here at TD and made her not able to read. It was really funny and it worked really well and I'm super excited for you guys to see it. Without any further ado, roll the clip. For this next, uh, for this next trick, um, we're gonna need a volunteer who can read. So everyone who can read, please raise your hand. Really, guys? Really, about forty-five percent of you can read. <laughs> All right, Dean, will you join us on stage? What do you teach here at Yale? I teach literature. So you're pretty good at reading, right? I'm so good at reading. <laughs> okay, Dean, have you ever been hypnotized before? No, I'm really nervous. <laughs> I can all read too. But I just want to ask you, you don't know what's about to happen. No. You don't, you're not playing along just trying to make me look good. No, I'd like to trade out with somebody else. <laughs> you already came up, it's kind of like, no, a, no. you can't return that one. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Before, before Jay actually hypnotizes Dean, I want to make sure that everyone uh, can also read. So, 45% of you should be able to read this card. Everyone see what that says? Yeah. Let's see? straight out if you can. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press down on your shoulders and I just want you to resist and don't let me push your arms down, okay? Perfect, perfect, just like that. I'm going to give a little bit of unequal pressure. Perfect, you're doing a great job. All right, you can let your arms relax by your sides. All right, and I just want you to relax your shoulders, relax your legs, close your eyes, and you can even relax your neck and if you want you can let your chin drift down to your chest a little bit. Perfect. No, no, just don't even worry about it. Just ignore the rest of the line. All right, um, will you take a deep breath in with me? And exhale. Take another deep breath in. And exhale. Now I'm going to ask you a couple of really simple questions. What's your name? Sarah McCurra. Uh Where are you right now? TV. And uh, how old are you? 37. Perfect, thank you. You can open your eyes now. Um, so Dean, I'm going to hold my hand up like this, and I just want you to imagine there's a clock right there, all right? And instead of having hours, the clock has years. At the top is going to be your age, 37, all right? Now you're going to imagine that it's going to tick back once to 36. It's going to tick back again to 35. It's going to tick back again to 34. It's going to keep ticking around the clock down to 20, down to 18, down to 12, down to 6, down to 5, down to 3. Now, a couple of things were true in your 3. Everything was really funny, and you couldn't read. So, we're just going to demonstrate this. When you were 3, you couldn't read. Now, Josh, if you'd show the card to everyone, make sure, can everyone read this? See the word? Yeah. 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 Oh, that's my bad. Everyone can read that word? Everyone's got it? Okay, no funny movement to Dean. Can you, can you read this word for me? No. Just, just try to sound it out. Esquiprosia? Okay, we'll try another one. We'll try another one. All right, just make sure everyone can read this. Uh, you guys can see this word? See that word? We're good? Okay. Can I read what that says? Dean, would you mind reading this 
word. 